so good morning people uh, yeah bike a bit dirty needs a wash but uh, sunny day and I need to adjust the tap it the bike has done about uh, 13,000 kilometers last time I did it was around 1500 2000 so uh, there we go 13,390 first off yeah take the seat out and we'll be taking the spark plug off as well the seat comes off nice now these are 10 mm so let's open these here we go so 10 mm that comes off nicely let me open this one so the nuts are out next let's move to this clamp some fuel is gonna come out you see this small tab here there is one on the other side as well so press it with both two fingers like this and then pull it out so let me pull it out I'm gonna require the other hand just uh, showing you how it is done I have loosened it already so these two tabs once you pull and you push back you would be needing your both hands now here's the thing there is some fuel in this line so it's better to just pour it rather than having it just fall on the bike so keep a small container handy as you can see it's a fair bit of fuel next thing would be to disconnect the fuel line that now there is a tab on the other side I'll show you but you just press it and you push it down so this is the tab you just push it with the finger and just pull it down it should come so this is the one on the left side so let's disconnect this now this is the one that I was talking about same mechanism that was used there now the tank is ready for lift off there should be two hoses that are coming from this one is for your drain fuel excess drain or water drain and the second one is for evap so let's pull those out as well just let me get the camera now to do that I hope the camera does not fall just pull the tank back slightly then lift it and then there is this one the bigger one this should come off easily here we go now the second one has a clamp on it nothing major but that should also come out once this is done tank is out there you go so well, this is a good time for inspection as well so the drain one is seeming okay but as you can see this one was cramped like this so it has caused a problem and that's why there was some fuel in it as well now I may cut it from here and then put it back the other thing is at this point to also check for any wiring like I have installed this charger so just checking if it is uh, getting damaged anywhere no seems okay not getting damaged perfect another thing why we pull the tank backwards is because of these mounts one here and one here these two mounts which go in this and this clamp yeah this one now while I am at it what I'll do is I'll just open the fuel tank and I'll just insert a wire okay so as I was saying yeah I'm just gonna use this wire and if you can see that yeah so as I was saying this is better you see this one this is for evap and just next to it on the left side this is the one I'm gonna just insert this wire it should come up here we go oh sorry here we go yeah so here it is yeah this is not clogged or anything why I do this is just to make sure that uh, when I wash the bike or when it's raining and I'm riding 
no water seeps in from here and eventually if that is drained it will not have a place to go out and then it will enter the tank and that's why you get water in the tank now let's move on to uh, the uh, tap it adjustment bit now that will be the next video uh, in the continuation of this video once I have done all of that I'll be including how to close the tank back how to put the tank back or mount the tank back okay Now to put the tank back in, I've just placed it here. You just have to move a bit forward in those two brackets that I showed you while dismounting. And here you go. Just make sure that it goes in for the next step. Okay, it's two back in. Yeah, so let's connect these hoses. I don't even have to look at them. Now the one the, that is thin, that is for EVAP, that has a metal clamp. You place that in. And the tank is fully in. What's next is to make sure that these hoses don't crimp so for that just pull them out a little so this is a good practice uh, this is the one that is for evap i'm just pulling it a bit down then i'll again pull it down under i'll check i do this so that uh, the hoses because of the Excess and this is the one for the fuel overflow again pulling this one out So yeah, I'm just making sure that the wires are not flying around And this is for fuel one. This is more important one Pulling it down from here And the tank is in the place So yeah tank has been put in bike is good to go we'll start it but before I do that just wanted to make sure so I let you know that yeah I have also changed the engine oil that was about six seven hundred kilometers back done at around 2000 or 12,500 kilometers same motor 300 V cleaned and uh, changed the air filter cleaned the spark plug as well you know, all the normal things and uh, yeah before I start the bike just want to make sure that do remember that this is to be done at compression stroke while the uh, piston is at TDC that is top dead center that means that the piston is all the way up here uh, that is what it has to do to compress the air fuel mixture and intake is recommended by Enfield uh, in the range of 0 0.08 mm to 0 0.10 mm and exhaust at 0.23 mm to 0.25 mm now let's start the bike let's see Yeah, so cold start and yeah, also it is to be done in uh, cold. So cold as in, you should not just like be taking the bike out for a ride, then come back home and then do it. Don't do that. Just make sure that the clearance is set when the engine has been standing, bike has been standing for at least, depending on the climate, four, five hours, eight hours, ten hours. So yeah, that's what it is. That is how the engine sounds. Okay. Stay tuned, next up would be, need to change the fork oil man, I've scratched it again, should have been done at 10,000, it's at 13,300, so that is next up, I'll see when I'll um, find time to do that and wash the bike, I mean yeah, bike needs to be washed, take care, bye.